Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Old School Rose Get Progress video. Today we're going to be doing some quests, like I mentioned in the end of the last episode, so if you haven't watched that, please be sure to go back and watch. Um, I will leave a playlist down below if you do want to watch it. I'm just going to finish off this layer task, then I'm going to give a couple quests to go. Um, I'm going to do the Thrall quest, the Tombs of Damascus quest, and the... Um, I can't remember what it's called, but the one that unlocks the weird creature that gives you the venom. Ven I can't remember what the bow's called, but the bow that you get. <laughs> and also the upgrade for the agent staff and that. So, but yeah. Once we have completed this task, I will go give it there a go. If I do get any any drops from the uh, Firewatch Sentinels, I will let you know. Hopefully we do get a couple more blood shards. Yo, I actually managed to get another blood shard. That is absolutely amazing. That's another 5 mil added to the bank value. We still have 31 left to kill, so hopefully we can get another one. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any more blood shards, but Duradel, give us another good task. Cave Kraken. Now, that is a good one, because that's one of my favourites, and we are still waiting for the pet. I believe we are past 2000 KC. If we have a quick look, Kraken, 2000 KC. We've only got a couple tridents and a couple um, tentacles. Still looking for the pet and the jar, so that is a collection log I do wish to complete. No freaking way did I just get that. <clears throat> God damn it. Here we go. So after a confusing for the first few seconds boss fight, we managed to complete Beneath Cursed Sands. We can now complete uh, do Tombs of Damascus, which is nice. And we get the Keras Partisan, which is also needed for the boss. And a circle of water, which I cannot remember what it does. I think it just means, yeah, keeps you hydrated, which is quite nice. And that's the Iron uh, Sleeping Giants quest completed. We have now have access to the Giants Foundry. Didn't get a smithy level, unfortunately. But yeah, this is a nice little mini game. I'm probably going to give a go uh, for my remaining smithing levels. Hopefully try and get to 99 because I know this is quite, quite decent XP. I managed to get 6k XP just from doing the quest alone. Um, well, from the quest rewards anyway. I got 200 from the actual the actual mini game uh, so fingers crossed we can get a decent amount of rewards um but yeah i'll probably stay here for a little bit just to see if i can get used to it uh, i believe i've got some items in the chest that we can use yeah i've got some ores that i can use so we're probably going to use these up and then hopefully get ourselves some nice levels i know there is a shop uh, we can buy stuff from this guy uh, from kovac um and we do want to get the smithing outfit um Potentially the Colossal Blade. I, I do want to do this for collection logs. Also the double ammo mold for making double the amount of cannonballs. So that makes it a bit quicker. Um, this gives you a little bit of a boost in smithing. That will be good for, uh, to be fair, I'm at 90 smithing already. So I don't really need to do anything else. Um, we could already make like top tier items. Uh, I think the only thing left to do is to get the uh, 99 cape. So that's probably the next goal to work on. Um, That's quite a good one. Uh, we only need, we don't need as much coal. So yeah, I'm probably going to work my way. Probably try and get a bit of everything. Um, I definitely want to get the outfit. So we need eight thousand, quite a few, <laughs> quite a few points. I think that's what fifteen thousand points. Uh, just off the top of my head, but yeah, we're going to work our way through all of these. And I do believe there is a collection log in here uh, for Giants Foundry. There it is. Uh, so, so that's not too bad. We don't have to collect all the molds. We just have to collect the outfit, the colossal blade, the ammo mold, the grog, the catalyst, catalyst, and the ore pack. So yeah, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, we're gonna spend like 10, 20 minutes here probably, and then go do another quest. I hope. Time to hand in my first sword. Seventeen thousand smithing XP, and we got thirty k from that, which is really nice. And we only managed to get. How many points did we get? Let's have a look. So from one mission, one, wow. One completion is 158 uh, foundry points, which is really nice. And that's just from the first sword we've ever made. Um, yeah, I think I could definitely do this for a little while. It's gonna take me about five hours at this rate to get to uh, 91, but we'll see. Nice, managed to get the chaotic, <laughs> catalytic uh, talisman. I am not 100% sure what to do with it, but I will research it and use it. Well, I've just completed the general shadow and managed to get the shadow sword. Um, <laughs> I always wanted to get one of these a long time ago, so it goes with the whole outfit. And it's taken me a long time to do this quest. So yeah, I'm sure some of you know which quest I'm going to go do now. 
uh, is the one f to unlock the Phantom Muspa. Uh, was it Secrets of the North? That will be the next quest, quest we complete. Right, so I do believe I am ready for this boss fight. Uh, we've got um, Void, Manage and Range set up. We've got Dragon Crossbow. We've got Sapphire Darts, uh, Sapphire Bolts for the um, uh, the last phase where he's using Prayer and you have to drain the Prayer before you can do more damage. Um, I've got the Ancient Staff for a quick and easy Ice Barrage spell. So I just click on the boss to, sp uh, to freeze it when it's in its melee phase. Um, yeah, other than that, I think I am ready. Um, this is probably not going to be the gear setup I use when I actually come to fight this for KC and loot drops, but this is what I'm going to be using for now. Um, obviously, hopefully we can get all of these drops in like a few hundred kills, because yeah, this bus does seem quite easy, but this is my first time killing it, so we're going to see how we go. I am going to quickly watch a video on how to do it again, and then we're going to jump in. Okay, that last 10% is a bit difficult. <laughs> so looking back at the footage of that last fight, I realized where I messed up. Um, I was standing in completely the wrong place. I should have been standing behind the... Um, I've got inventory space, what about? I should have been standing behind the spikes, but I didn't do that. I made, <laughs> made a boo-boo and didn't do that. So this time around, we will, we will definitely win this fight, win this, uh, kill this boss. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Walking into the spikes. And have we done it? Have we done it? Yo, yes, did it. Okay, that second attempt wasn't too bad. Once we got used to the, the where to stand in the uh, final phase, or the 10% phase, but yeah, we did it. Uh, we're gonna go complete this quest, I believe. We have to do a little bit of a cutscene and then we get teleported to the boss uh, quest start. But yeah, I'm glad that's over. I will meet you at the end of the quest because you guys don't need to see all this. And there is Secrets of the North complete with a bunch of experience, which is not going to give me any levels, unfortunately. Maybe thieving. No, oh, maybe. Nope, never mind. We didn't get any levels from that, unfortunately. But yeah, that is the quest complete. We can now slay the Phantom Muspa as many times as we want. I definitely will give it a go, and I definitely want to get the uh, collection log complete for this. Because uh, these Venator Shards alone are like 7.5 mil, and that would be nice um, to add to the bank. And also, I want to test out the bow, uh, but that will probably take me a while to get. <laughs> 